Good morning, everybody. Hello, it is Olivia. It's not morning, it's afternoon, but uh, good afternoon, good day. How about that? Good day. But what if it's not day and it's night? And I say good day, then it's night. So I really should say good time, right? Because time's eternal and it never ends, and we really don't have a concept of it. So if I just say good time, that really applies to like everybody instead of just like good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, or even good night. So like to say good time, right? But that sounds weird. I'll just say hello. <laughs> My name's Liv. I'm here today with another video. It's something I worked really hard on. Spent lots of hours doing it for a teeny little bit of fabric. And as you read the title, you probably could guess that I made lingerie! Here it is. Looks like a mess, but yay! Here it is! <laughs> I always thought that lingerie is kind of an expensive item that's really sold like exclusively if you want a really nice pair or a set that fits you well. And so I thought, well, maybe I could make something that fits me perfectly, something in my style for free. Or really cheap if you really want to get technical because technically I did allocate these resources prior that included some transaction of money. Very minimal I would say if you want to be technical. Um, the most thing I got for it right now was that the fabric dye which costs like a dollar fifty everything else i had already in my stash and so if you don't have a stash it'll be cheap but for me it's i'm considering it free okay <laughs> so yeah um if you want to see how i did it let's get on with it and you should stay around for the end of the video because we're making a very special guest appearance and you can see the final result. So, without further ado, thank you. Enjoy. And so I came across this in my pile. It's this old tablecloth, I think. And it's cream color. But it's really nice and I love like the pretty lace. And I thought it would look really nice with black bias tape and black elastic and look that could be a perfect titty piece right there just sh boom stick it on I'm just kidding <laughs> anyways I was like you know what I want to use this one but it is cream and that will not look good so I went to the store and I got this black dye for like 150 oops 150 pretty much so I'm gonna dye this hoe and I'm gonna use this and not use those <laughs> and I also uh, pulled out this also failed pair of pants that I tried to make my sister um I'm gonna use this as sort of I'm gonna make a bias tape out of it and maybe use it as some of the elastic e straps so I think this is really all I need other than that, I have some black elastic to go with my design. Hopefully it'll work out like in my head. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go dye this. Be right back. Okay, so we got fabric, bucket, gloves, dye, directions, me. Okay, so here I have all my materials. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this because I do have wider elastic and skinnier elastic. I'm going to use the wider for the bust and the waist, and then I have this lace that I dyed. Turned out gray. Kind of blotchy, but uh, I think it's going to work. Then I have my pattern, and I'm just going to start laying things out on my dress form and seeing how they look all together. Also, I uh, got this fabric from my grandma. Um... I think it was like a tablecloth, but uh, yeah, sorry Grams, um, I know she likes sewing, so maybe she wouldn't be too upset that I'm making stuff. Don't show that. <laughs> I'm making a nice shawl with lots of coverage, as you can see. <laughs> 
Okay, here we are with a mildly useless shot um, of me just draping stuff on the dress form. But uh, it's a new thing that I got and I really like it. So I just wanted to um, show you guys kind of a concept of what I was going for before actually doing it, just like I did on my little sketch. So as you can see here, I pieced together the top, then the bottom of the top, and now I'm gonna go for the bottoms. But it's kind of hard because, yeah, dress forms don't have legs or uh, butt cheeks or, you know, like bits. You know, they don't have bits. So this is something how the bottoms, I think, are going to work. And I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work in the back with, like, actual cheeks. Because you need like one between the cheeks, you know what I'm saying? And then my envision this one, this strap, this low strap is supposed to go oh, <laughs> supposed to go under the cheeks, like here. But um, if I can finesse that on an actual person, then I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it. So yeah, that's the little makeup of this so far. Keep in mind it will go down like with legs, not just hovering body. Oh my gosh, forgive me for being so rude, but I want to introduce to you my lovely assistant, Venus. Yes, I did name my dress form Venus because she got them curves. Okay, now for this next part, um, Venus's bust is a little bigger than mine, so I'm gonna need to borrow a bra that fits me. And oh, perfect, I have one right here, lovely. Okay, so now what I'm doing is using the bra as a reference guide to see how big to make the triangles in order to have full coverage for uh, my chest or, you know, in order to how big to make them. And so I'm just cutting those two bad boys out using the corners of the, of the tablecloth that I already had and just doing that. So next thing is I need to make a dart on the boob cups because you know bras they have like a cuppage effect so what i'm doing is you just fold it in half and then pin where it starts and ends and then you sew from a line meeting the two in a diagonal line so that should make the cup on the bra and we should be golden and after i zipped those darts up i am left with a triangle boob cover you know Perfect. That's what it looks like. See, it has that little section. After that, I measure the elastic around my bust to how long it needs to be. Then I cut it there and I sized up where the triangle boob covers need to fit onto the elastic waistband. After that, I pinned everything together along the elastic and got ready to sew it all down. After placing my triangle boob covers onto the elastic, I head over to my sewing machine, which is approximately one step away, and I ran everything through with a zigzag stitch so that it would have room to stretch to my body. And once it's all tacked down, it'll look something like this. Now we need to attach the waistband so it'll hug our bodies in a circular fashion. So what you do is hold them two together and sew in a square. And yes, it does look like a bo box, so I would have to say I just put a stitch in the box, and yes, I'm sorry, I really had to say that one, I really did. After that, I put the bra in progress, yes, B-I-P, onto my assistant Venus, just so you guys can see, in case you didn't see before. Then I took the time to measure out how long I want the shoulder straps to be, and I cut two of those bad boys out with the skinny elastic that I had, and then I measured where on the bra I wanted them to sit, and then I just pinned the straps and ran it through my sewing machine, which turned out to be quite the difficult task, sewing something that small and skinny on that little of an area. And that's when I realized I fluffed up and sewed it on the wrong side, the wrong side. If you've been around the sewing block, you probably understand my frustration, maybe even firsthand. But now everything is miraculously fixed and now I'm working on the neck strap, which goes up and around the other side of the neck. I'm using Venus as a measurement tool to see how big I want it because I want it 
tight, but not too tight, you know, just like a firm grasp. And after the good old cut, pin, and sew combo, the finished bra of top of the bra looks like this. It did take me a couple tries to get the angles, I'm not even gonna lie, so. But now we're working on the bottom of the bra, which also includes two downward facing triangles. And so I'm using the bra again that I already had as a measurement tool to see how big to make those. And I cut those two out from the tablecloth. And I don't need to add darts in there since there's not really anything to cup down there. So I'm just leaving those triangles be and I'm going to measure where I want them to sit on the rest of the bra apparatus. And once I do that, I pin it all in place and then I get ready to have it all sewed down. And after a little bit of sewing magic, the bra will look something like this. You have two up triangles, two down triangles, top straps, and now we need a waist strap to attach to the bottom two triangles. And after more sewing magic, the top is finally complete and mildly confusing to arrange because all of these straps, but I hope you get the gist. So yeah. And now it's time to work on the bottoms. And I need some underwear to borrow, but no, I did not use the same method as before. I did pull a clean pair out of the drawer. So I'm taking the fabric that I had and laying it out where I want it to sit onto my underwear, knowing how the underwear I'm using fit me as a guide and cutting out this shape, essentially. And then I made sure how wide to make it at the um, undercarriage part, you know, because we want full coverage down there. We don't want to, we don't want to slip a lip, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going for that effect and I cut this piece out and now what I'm doing is I'm using those pants that I had to make some edging for these sides the raw sides of the underwear. So I'm just cutting out two really straight and perfect pieces that are about the length of the front piece of the underwear. And once I'm done doing that, I ironed the raw edges of the makeshift bias tape in toward the middle so that when I pin it all along the sides, all the raw edges will be sandwiched together and I can just tack it down all in one stroke and it'll be nice and easy, fine and dandy, and nothing will go wrong, hopefully. So here we are pinning it down, getting ready to head over to our sewing machine. After that, I head over to my sewing machine with a pretty hopeful attitude that it was all going well because the first side went really well and turns out I didn't sandwich it together. So there's a stitch on the edging, but not on the lace. So here we are with my old friend, Steam Ripper. I know him way too well. We'll be back when it's fixed. And miraculously, we're back and in business. And here is what the front piece looks like. Now we're going to need a piece to make it, you know, nice and comfy and cozy down there because you don't really want that lace down there. You don't really want elastic down there. Nobody wants that. And so what I'm doing is I'm using more of that extra fabric I had and tracing out a piece how long I need to go from down there to up around the other side, if you know what I mean. And now I'm just running it through my sewing machine along the top of that piece and all along the sides, hemming it in. And now we have a whole and completed underwear piece that goes all the way up and around and it's going to be like a nice and comfy little pillow for your bits for your your box for the you know the place after that i measured the elastic on myself to see how big i wanted these straps to be i cut two of those out and now i'm putting it on the sides of the front of the underwear and I'm going to sew it down along there, like so. I'm just gonna put it into that channel that I already made from that bias tape and just, you know, get it right on through there. And now this is what it looks like. I also sewed it in the back as well, so it goes all the way around my hip area. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the um, butt floss area 
and create a little channel so that the side straps can move freely. After that's done, what I do next is measure the waistband out, sew it together, now I'm going to attach it to the top. And then I sew those decorative little straps after measuring on myself onto the sides, and then I measured where I want it to sit on the waist, and I sewed all of that in place all that fast. Yes, all that fast. I know that was a lot in once, but I think we finally did it. The last cut and look a finished piece of underwear oh my gosh for real though i feel like squidward when he wrote that entire composition in one night but anyways this is my completed set of lingerie and i know it looks weird laying down because all of the confusing straps but here it is and i'm so excited because this took a long time and a lot of work that i had to redo a bunch of times to get the sizing right but you know it's a trial and error here we are so excited to show this to you guys and for you guys to see the final look okay so i know what you guys are thinking like oh my god is she gonna like try it on and like show us because it's like see-through and like not a lot of coverage you know it's like a lot of skin. The answer is 